Ever wonder how to keep your garden healthy without resorting to harsh chemicals? You're not alone. Gardens are often a magnet for a variety of pests and diseases. Common culprits include aphids, those tiny green bugs that suck the life out of your plants, beetles that munch on leaves and caterpillars that can defoliate an entire plant in no time. Then there are fungal infections that can cause your plants to wilt and die. These pests and diseases can wreak havoc on your garden, turning what was once a lush oasis into a plant graveyard. But maintaining a healthy garden is not just about aesthetics. It's about creating a balanced ecosystem that promotes plant health and growth. And the good news? There are natural ways to combat these issues. One such solution is a simple baking soda spray. Today we will explore this simple yet effective homemade solution to keep your garden pest-free and healthy. Baking soda, a common household item, can be a gardener's best friend. But why, you may ask? This humble ingredient has properties that make it an effective pesticide and fungicide. You see, baking soda has the amazing ability to alter pH levels on plant leaves. By raising the pH it creates an environment that's simply inhospitable for pests and fungi. It's like throwing a party and not inviting the guests you don't want to show up. The pests and fungi are left out in the cold, while your plants thrive in a healthier, safer environment. But that's not all. Baking soda is also a safer alternative to chemical pesticides and fungicides. It's non-toxic, biodegradable, and won't harm beneficial insects or birds. Plus, it won't leave harmful residues on your plants or in your soil. Now that we understand the benefits of baking soda spray, let's learn how to prepare it. Making your own baking soda spray is as simple as pie. No, really! All you need are three basic ingredients. Baking soda, water, and a bit of liquid soap. So let's jump right into the process. First things first, fetch a quart of water. This will be the base of your spray. To this water you'll add one tablespoon of baking soda. This proportion is vital to remember. One tablespoon per quart. Too much baking soda can harm your plants while too little won't be effective against pests and diseases. Once you've added the baking soda, give it a good stir until it's completely dissolved. You want a clear solution, with no baking soda particles floating around. This ensures that the baking soda is evenly distributed throughout the water, making your spray more effective. Now for the final ingredient, liquid soap. Add a few drops to your solution. Why soap, you ask? Well, the soap helps the solution stick to the plant surfaces, ensuring that the baking soda stays where it needs to be, rather than just washing off. Give your solution a final stir, and your baking soda spray is ready. Pour it into a spray bottle and you're all set. Remember, this spray is not a one-and-done solution. It's a part of an ongoing garden care routine. So, keep it handy and use it regularly for the best results. There you have it, your homemade baking soda spray is ready for action. But how do we use it effectively? Applying baking soda spray is a breeze if you follow these steps. First, it's crucial to identify the areas in your garden that are affected by pests or fungi. Look for signs of damage on your plants, such as leaf discoloration, wilting, or abnormal growth. These are the spots that will benefit the most from the baking soda spray. Next, let's talk about the best time to apply the spray. Ideally, you should aim to do this in the early morning or late evening. The reason? Direct sunlight can interact with the baking soda and cause sunburn to your plants. So, by spraying when the sun is low, you can avoid unnecessary damage. Now, on to the frequency of application. A good rule of thumb is to spray your plants once a week. However, if you're dealing with a heavy infestation, you may need to increase this to two or even three times a week. Remember, consistency is key when it comes to keeping pests and fungi at bay. Lastly, ensure you cover all affected areas thoroughly. The spray should lightly coat the leaves, stem, and base of the plant. Don't be afraid to get a little messy, it's all part of the process. By following these steps you can keep your garden healthy and thriving, all thanks to a simple baking soda spray.